So one of my other visions for the council is for us to be more inclusive. Um, we've, we've always said that we're inclusive. We actually formed because we were excluded from the governance of what is now the National Association of Realtors. What I've learned in this journey, because it hasn't been all roses, that I've been discriminated against myself a lot within this organization. I remember the first time I ran for a state office and the nominating committee told me that I was too young. I had plenty of time. And that is not the right message. When you want to encourage younger leaders, that was absolutely the wrong message. And um, I could have walked away, but I didn't, I persevered. And so I want the council to truly be more inclusive and accept people for who they are and where they are on their leadership journey. Accepting them because they want to wear jeans to a meeting or they have a tattoo or, you know, their hair isn't perfect and it's frizzy or whatever it is, just good grief. Let's, let's lift each other up and love each other for what's inside because that's what matters. That is the heart of Women's Council. And that's the organization that I know and I love and I want to be president of.